Hey guys, welcome back to Halftime. Now today I'm going to be speaking to Federico Chiesa from Juventus who is having an incredible week, an incredible start to his season. Federico, thank you for joining us. Congratulations on your first ever Champions League goal. Has it sunk in? Thank you very much for inviting me to this uh, you know, conversation, to this interview. And uh, no, I still can't believe it. Uh, Believe it, you know, it was just amazing to score my first Champions League goal. Uh, and, you know, uh, I don't have words to describe it. When I scored, when I saw the ball uh, going in the back of the net, I was like, did I score? And also it was you know, an amazing feeling. Amazing. And I mean, of course, your family must be so fr so proud. Have you been able to speak to your father after the match? Yes, I spoke with my father, with my mother, with the, you know, my, my the entire family. They were so happy for me. and. Uh, no, I was uh, happy for the fact that uh, I scored 20 years after my father scored his first goal uh, with the, in the Champions League. And so this was just great, you know, it was a perfect night. Also historic because it was the first female referee officiating a men's Champions League match, which is a huge step forward. What was it like, you know, being a part of that historic moment? Did you feel any different? What was that like? No, we were part of this, you know, uh, change, you know, uh, we always uh, used to watch, you know, a male referee in a male match, you know, and this was something uh, great to see, the, you know, the women in, in the world, you know, for for the fact that they, they have to be equal to men, they have to be, they have to have the same rights, and this was uh, an amazing thing to do by UEFA, and uh, it was great. Now, let's take it back a few months. I mean, obviously, you're still getting to know this new team, you're still being welcomed into the family, but what was the moment like when you got the phone call that you would be joining a team like Juventus? I remember it was the, like the last day of uh, Calcio Mercato in Italy, and uh, uh, it was just amazing being you know, uh, called by Juventus. It's like a, a dream come true, actually, because uh, you know Juventus is one of the most important, you know, if not the most important club in in all of the world. So. I mean, it was uh, great and, uh, you know, I'm really happy to be here uh, playing for Juventus. There's uh, a different mentality, uh, you know, you have more responsibility when you go inside of the pitch because here they only want to win uh, and, uh, you know, we have the responsibility to win and play the game at the maximum of our you know, potential to win it, uh, to uh, for, for the fans because uh, Juventus uh, wants to be at the top every year. To do that, you know, you have to play at your best every time, every time, every, you know, Sunday, every midweek, uh, Champions League, Serie A, Coppa Italia, it doesn't matter. And now talk to me about your relationship with Pirlo. I mean, obviously his leadership has been key this season. Are you happy with your position? Are you happy with the way that things are going for you on the team? Yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm happy, you know, as soon as I came in the squad, you know, Pirlo, uh, you know, uh, started talking to me about the position where he wanted me to play and I'm just here to play, you know, and uh, every position he wants me uh, to play in, I'll play, no problem. I'm just here for him and for my teammates. And that's probably what helped you with your goal as well. I mean, first Champions League goal, you know, you're playing with Juventus, with the Italian national team. What are you going to do next? My the goal is to keep pushing on, you know, working harder in, inside of training and, you know, it was uh, not a fun thing. It was that I scored my first, uh, you know, professional uh, goal with my head. No, I never scored with my head, so it was my first header. No, maybe I remember I scored uh, with Italy with my head, uh, but, you know, this was in a club, so it was just, you know, this proves, you know, hard work uh, during training that then you bring it on to the pitch. So uh, just, uh, you know, my goal is to keep working, keep working for the team because first, uh, you know, I have to work for the team and then everything is going to come. And I think it's hard to talk about Juventus and not talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, what is his leadership like in the locker room? Has he given you any advice when you first joined the team? He's one of the greatest, uh, if not the greatest player of all time. He's a fantastic person. Uh, incredible, I thought, you know, I, I always saw him outside, you know, from like when I was playing in Fiorentina, I saw him in Juventus, in Real Madrid. Uh, and he was such a great player and playing with him every day and uh, training with him every day. I, I, I found out I found out that he's a fantastic person too. And his leadership is amazing. He, when the tough 
moments uh, during the games uh, uh, come in. He is always the first one to step up and you know help the team uh, uh, with a goal or with his performance. Now, Federico, I must tell you that Juventus has a huge following, a huge fan club in Canada in Toronto specifically, so I think they would really appreciate if you could send a shout out, a message to all of those Canadian fans that watch you every weekend. Yeah, I want to say hi to all my uh, all Juventus Canadian fans uh, in, in Toronto, in all, in, all, in all of Canada, and uh, you know, we're going to do our best uh, for Saturday you know, to win for you guys. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining us, Federico.